I am ranking all 82 maps that comes with City Skylines. This episode is Green City's DLC. This series is tournament style with the best map from each DLC sent to the final round to determine which map is truly the best map in City Skylines. Here's the point breakdown. Transportation accounts for 4 points with highways, railroads, shipping, and airports counting for 1 point each. Resources are worth 2 points, half a point for each type of resource. How the map looks is worth 3 points. And personal preferences account for 1 point. The maximum any map can score is 10 points. The first map is Eden Valley. Well, the highway starts out great, and it's nice and flat, and it's not too curvy. The only issues are terrible vanilla interchanges. I don't know why that's a suspension bridge, but we'll just ignore that for now. Yeah, look at these highways. This is what a highway should be. Okay, there's a bump here, but you know what? That's not a big deal. So yeah, the roads are pretty good. Railroad should hopefully follow suit, where it looks pretty good. And it looks pretty good. My only issue with the railroad is it's pretty far away from the starting tile. In fact, you have to buy two just to get it. So that's pretty average. You got a shipping route over here. You got a shipping route over here. You have plenty of options for shipping. Well, building an airport is not going to be a challenge whatsoever. There's plenty of resources available for you to collect from and you have three available in the first tile and the next the oil is pretty close by so it's not too bad i think this map is visually appealing it looks great there's a lot of elevation there's a lot of water i'm a big fan of this map i'd be willing to play this map but it's not at the top of my list the second map is garden rivers the highways are a little bit bumpy the bridge is pretty good though i'll give it that I hate the interchange. Hate the interchange. This doesn't make sense to me. I don't like that the highways are like this. And the fact that there's absolutely nothing over here is kind of annoying at the same time. Railroads are pretty flat. It takes a cut through the mountains. I like that. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Yeah, the railroads are okay. My only issue is it's two tiles away minimum. So it's pretty average. Got a shipping route through here and it just ends there, which I don't know why it could have probably gone through and gone farther in. So it's pretty average. Airports are very easy to get in here. You will not struggle with that at all. Resources are abundant. The only one you get in the first tile is forestry, but you can get everything else pretty nearby. This isn't my favorite looking map, but it's not a bad looking map at all. I think it's just a little bit bland for what it could have been. I also think this map has some of the highest potential and I'd be willing to play it to see if I could meet that potential. The third map is Lavender Lake. Highway start out pretty average. A little bit bumpy here and there, but not terrible. Hate the interchange. The curves are a little bit sharp. Go up a little bit of a hill. Terrible interchange. It is going up a bit of a hill, but I think that's okay. This doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to bends, but... Yeah. Ah! Ah, that's why I hated this. Alright, that makes sense now. I completely understand why I hate this. Railroads are pretty average. They don't really do much, and they are... Two tiles away minimum from your starting square you know boating's kind of lame in this map it's so far away it's not great i don't like that well you might struggle to build an airport here you do have some areas but there's a lot of elevation differences and that might make it hard to grade it to be flat so good luck with those well resources are abundant and you get two of them in the first tile and the next two pretty nearby so pretty good for resources i think the map looks really nice i th this map has a lot of potential with it i'd definitely be willing to play this map but it's not at the top of my list the winner of the 12th bracket of maps is eden valley if you'd like to see which map wins this tournament make sure you subscribe and tune in tomorrow to see the next episode i wanted to take a minute to thank grottles for helping me rank all 82 maps may god bless you and have a wonderful day